everybody welcome to the workshop in today's video we're going to talk about a book a book about old american axes and their history i know a lot of you uh are interested in axes uh either refurbishing them restoring them um collecting them or using them and I found this book to be uh, an amazing source of information, and that's why I wanted to share, share it with everybody. The book I'm referring to is American Axes by Henry J. Kaufman. The book American Axes, a survey of their development and their makers by Henry J. Kaufman is a treasure chest, a treasure chest of information for anyone who is interested in axes. The book is 149 pages. It starts you out with early European axes, goes into the 18th century axes, 19th century, 20th century. Uh, it has some great pictures of collector axes. It's got a chapter on care of the axe, use of the axe, and then what I found very, very useful is a directory of American axe makers, a glossary of terms. Uh, it is just a treasure chest, like I said, a treasure chest of information for anyone who is interested in axes. The chapter on 18th century axes uh, is packed uh, full of all kinds of information, uh, axe being... Uh, a very uh, uh, important tool back then. This chapter might be of interest to some of you who are uh, historic reenactors, so you can portray the best uh, uh, portrayal of uh, an 18th century uh, woodsman. The chapter about 19th century axes starts out with a great portrait of Samuel Collins, uh, the founder of the company... <laughs> Collins Axes, uh, uh, and that company was in business for more than a century. There's information on how uh, uh, axes uh, were made back in uh, mid-1800s, illustrations. There's uh, pictures of uh, 19th century manufacturing uh, facilities. Uh, there's... Uh, ledger sheets, uh, some patterns and labels, uh, and then I found this page real interesting, and that's the uh, axe handles. Uh, it's got uh, illustrations of axe handles from back then. The chapter on the 20th century uh, talks about uh, the mechanization of uh, axe companies. Uh, here's a illustration of uh, 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 making an there are several pages of uh, pictures of collectible axes from the author's uh, own collection. Very interesting uh, stuff here. All different styles and patterns. And uh, There's one that I've always got to <laughs> out look out for, and that's a, a Black Raven uh, uh, Kelly uh, axe. Uh, haven't found one yet, but I'm still looking. There's a wedge pattern, uh, a felling axe, uh, all sorts of stuff. Double bed axe. There's some uh, very interesting collectible axes, uh, pictures of them in this book. Chapter on a care of an axe. Here's a illustration of uh, some common abuses of axes. Uh, says years of experience have proved that of the axes returned to dealers and manufacturers. Very few are defective. Um, it says an axe is not intended for use as a wedge or as a maul. It also suggests that in cold weather you should warm the axe up slightly before using it because cold crystallizes steel. Uh, any axe with frost in it is brittle and will break uh, with a very slight blow. 
information on sharpening. Now we get into a chapter about uh, the use of an axe. Here is the chapter that I found the most useful. Um, and that's a directory of American axe makers. And it has an extensive list of all the different uh, axe makers and where they were located and the dates uh, that they were in, uh, in business. Uh, page after page of uh, axe makers and it, it's just fascinating especially if you uh, collect axes. There's even some uh, pictures of some labels uh, that from various axes. And it finishes out with a glossary of terms. So some of you who might be uh, new to uh, axes and collecting axes, this might be helpful here. I highly recommend this uh, book, American Axes by Henry J. Kaufman. Until next time, everybody, take care. Thanks for watching, and remember to keep on trucking.